Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. A team of archaeologists have investigated one of the most famous caves in Finland. Known as Purin Kirko, meaning Devil's Church, tradition says that this 34 meter long crevice that leads into the mountain was a meeting place for sages, who typically used it to contact the spirit world. The Z-shaped cave is located in the Koli National Park and there are several other landmarks close by that refer to the Devil. As well as the Devil's Church, we have Devil's Cave, Devil's Mountain and Devil's Rock. The mountain peaks are named Uko Koli and Aka Koli, in homage to the pre-Christian thunder god and his consort, reflecting their significance in local mythology. The legends surrounding this cave read like a chapter from Lord of the Rings, with sources that talk of mountain elves, invisible fairies and great lords that move in the area. The pagan significance of this area makes it easy to understand why everything is labelled in accordance with the devil. One source says, quote, The inhabitants of the mountain only play and yell there, and walk through the woods and dance and play, and drive with the bells along the mountain ravines. There's a kind of crack where they play and walk. It is said that an iron road passes via the crack through the mountain of Koli, all the way to Taipali. End quote. Tradition says the Devil's Church was a meeting place for shamans who came from the agricultural communities, and they came there to contact the spirit world, heal the sick, and bring balance to people and nature. Christian sources say shamans would commune with the devil to find the causes and cures for ailments. The actual history of the cave is relatively unknown. It was a hideaway for locals during the Great Wrath between 1713 and 1721, and during the continuation war between 1941 and 1944, the local people hid their valuables inside. But the stories of the cave being used by shamans and healers are what have made this cave so iconic. Even to this day, modern shamans continue the old traditions, using the unique acoustic properties of the cave during incantation and singing rituals. Apparently, the sages would rage, jump, kick and tremble, as if fighting with or intimidating invisible forces. One legend talks of a strange creature that strokes a precious gold ring, and this belonged to an all-powerful dark lord. Okay, maybe not. So now, researchers from the University of Eastern Finland have investigated the cave and published a new paper. Their acoustic measurements in this strange corridor-like cave have given a strong resonance phenomenon. According to the researchers, this phenomenon is caused by a standing wave between the smooth parallel granite walls. This generates a tone of the natural frequency of the cave, 231 Hz, and it stays audible for around one second after sharp impulses, like loud bangs, clapping and drumming. Furthermore, tones vocalised inside the cave near the frequency of 231 Hz are lengthened and amplified. As part of the study, the researchers interviewed and recorded a modern-day shaman who still uses this cave for rituals. They found that he vocalised tones at 231 Hz, and these were amplified by the cave at its natural frequency. Here's how it sounds inside the cave when clapping. Resonance is common in man-made structures, but it's much rarer in a natural environment, and that's because of a lack of solid parallel surfaces. 
the unique properties of the cave therefore attracted people into them. And the subtle resonance may lead visitors to feel like they're feeling a spirit, that they're having an otherworldly experience. According to the researchers, the acoustics are collaborative engagements with the physical surroundings and the natural environment. The reverberations facilitate a profound connection and exchange with a presence or entity beyond human. We of course now know that this is natural resonance, but for many people long ago, it affirmed the existence of a spiritual entity inside the cave. Basically, after researching the acoustic properties, you could see why people believed that this cave had an otherworldly significance. While scientists understand the resonance, people of the past may have sensed the presence of spirit, and also an exceptional energy. Every year, thousands of visitors enter the cave in hope of having an experience, to feel the presence of spirit inside the cave. And although we now understand it, by all accounts it's certainly worth making a visit. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.